Hello everyone! I'm Teacher Precious and welcome to our Grade 7 Mathematics class. For today's lesson, we will be discussing the area of some plane figures. To begin with, let's define what is area and what is plane figures. So, let's have first the area. So, when we say area, it is the number of square units in a plane surface. Then when we say plane figures, these are the two-dimensional figures. So we have here the examples of plane figures. So we have here the parallelogram, rectangle, square, triangle, and circle. Now let's discuss the different kinds of plane figures. Let's start with the square. When we say square, it has four sides of equal length. Then, the formula for the area of a square is A is equal to S is square. A for area and S for the sides. So, let's have an example. So, for instance, we have here the side of a square which is 5.8 centimeters. So, for us to get the area of it, we will just substitute 5 0.8 cm in our given formula. So, we will just write um, 5.8 cm as our value for side. Then, we will just square it. 5.8 cm square means that we will just multiply 5.8 to 5.8 cm. So, when we multiply 5.8 times 5.8, it will give us 33.64 cm. Since we will be talking the area, then the unit will be square. So, we have 33.64 cm square as the area of this square. After the square, let's have the rectangle. When we say rectangle, it has four sides and four corners. The four corners always make right angles. So, this is the right angle. Since it says there that um, rectangle has four corners, then we have the four right angles. The formula for rectangle is A is equal to L times W. L means length, then W means width. So, for better understanding, let's have the example. So, we have here 3.2 as the width and the 5.4 as the length. The longer side is the length and the shorter side is the width. So, for us to get the area of this rectangle, we will just substitute our given into our formula. So, our length here is 5.4 cm. Then, we will just multiply it with the given width, which is 3.2 cm. So, when we multiply 5.4 cm to 3.2 cm, we will get 17.28 cm square. So, the area for this rectangle is 17.28 cm square. Next plane figure is the parallelogram. When we say parallelogram, it is a flat shape with opposite sides parallel and equal in length. So, we have here the parallel sides and the equal sides. In the parallelogram, we also have the altitude or the height and the base. The formula for the parallelogram is A is equal to B times H, B for base and H for the altitude or for the height. For better understanding, let's have an example. So, we have here the parallelogram which have a base of 8 meters and height of 6 meters. So, we will just substitute R given into the formula. So, we have now base as 
8 meters, then we will just multiply it into the altitude or in the height, which is 6 meters. So when we multiply 8 meters to 6 meters, it will give us 48 meter square or 48 square meters. So the area for this parallelogram is 48 square meters. The next plane figure is the triangle. When we say triangle, it is a plane figure with three sides and three vertices or points. So these are the vertices or the points. In triangle, we also have the height and the base. The formula for um, the area of a triangle is A is equal to B times H all over by 2 B for base height or H for height. So for better understanding, let's have an example. Suppose that the triangle has a height of 5 millimeters and a base of 6 millimeters. So we will just substitute the given into our formula. So we have here the base which is 6 millimeters. Then we will just multiply it into the height, which is 5 millimeters. Then, all over by 2. So first thing to do is to multiply the numerator. So we have 6 millimeters times 5 millimeters will give us 30 millimeter square. Then we will divide it by so, 30 millimeter square divided by 2 will give us 15 millimeters square. So, the area for this triangle is 15 millimeter squares. Let's have the last plane figure which is the circle. When we say circle, it is a plane figure where all points are the same distance from the center. It does not have any sides or any corners. In circle, we have here the center and a line that divides the circle into two equal parts, which is called the diameter. And the line that divides the diameter is called the radius. The formula for the area of circle is A is equal to pi r square. Pi has an approximately measurement of 3.14. Then r is the measurement for D. Radius. So, let's have an example. Suppose that we have here the radius of 8 decimeter. So, for us to get the area of it, we will just substitute it in the given formula. Suppose that we have the pi as approximately 3.14. Then, we will multiply it into the radius which is 8 decimeter then we will just square it then copy first the 3.14 then multiply 8 decimeter times 8 decimeter which give us 64 decimeter square then after that, we will multiply it into 3.14. So 3.14 times 64 decimeter square will give us 200.96 decimeter square. So the area of this circle is 200.96 decimeter square. So I hope this lesson will help you to identify some polygons like parallelogram, rectangle, square, triangle, and circle. I hope also that you now know how to differentiate one polygon from the other and I hope you remember the formulas for the areas for the parallelogram, rectangle, square, triangle, and circle. Then, I hope you learn how to apply the formulas in solving problems. Next meeting, we will be discussing the 
um, volume and capacity of a figure. So, I hope you understand it well and for your um, queries, just comment down below. Then, God bless everyone.